What's going on everybody? We're actually here at the house and we're gonna take you along for our adventure today. We've got our boat rigged up. We're actually taking our flash boat out today. Excited, I've got a whole bunch of bait with me. And we're gonna be checking our traps. So let's pull the boat out and get started loaded up. I mean, start getting loaded up. Hey guys, we usually leave in the dark so we don't get to show you what was going on at home. So we figured to show you today. Yeah. And Darcy, look at all this, how much bait are you bringing? Tons of bait. We need lots of bait to catch lots of crabs. That's how it works. Tell us what she got here real quick. Yeah, this is a bunch of pig's feet here for the traps. Pig's feet is always a like good bait in general. And then my big large cooler, I've just got tons of carcasses in here. A couple snakehead I've killed over the last couple days. Invasive and just all kinds of stuff. I just collected all right, so I got to pick up the big thing and put it on a boat. Well, on we're, little well, boat. well, no, we're not going to hurt our back like that. We're going to take out the boxes and then put it, you put it back in. All right, let's get so, to it. Let's carry it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right, gotta bring the fishing poles. Offshore, we never leave home without a sea witch. Inshore, we always troll this for fun. Don't leave home without that lure. And this one, Darcy's favorite. And these are all the kumas. Made it! Whoa, it's hot! All right, fish on! We're just trolling over to the crab spot. What do we got? It's not very big. That's what she said. Let him go. Little baby baby. Ate a lure bigger than him. Crab trap bait. All right, guys, first trap. Let's get it up out of the water. It's a beautiful day. Can't complain, living the dream. Yeah, it's like a record heat today. It's November, like middle of November. It's supposed to be 85 degrees today. Yeah. I mean, it's totally beautiful. It's hot. But, we're, <laughs> but a cold front is coming real soon. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole 10 degrees colder. I know you guys are crying for us. <laughs> this video is brought to you guys by, to, by Hair Club, guys. One yeah. of Darcy's great sponsors. Got some links down below. And you can win a fishing trip, actually, with Darcy. Yes. So definitely enter that. Enter yes. that. The link's in the description below. Oh, baby, we got some stuff. Let's see. We got some stuff. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Definitely here. Some good old catfish in there, but we also have some crabs. We put the twist tie on there, the zip tie, so we can tell if the crab, if the pots get stolen. Or opened. Or opened, or same thing. Yeah. And everybody in uh, South Florida copies me now, so that's cool. Hey, we got a keeper. Nice. I'll take it. Way to start the day, Sizzle. Yeah, baby. That's a great first pull. These are no good for bait. Nothing wants to eat them, not even a crab. All right, you can see there's two different species in there. You see the darker colored one? There's actually three crabs, Sizzle. Yes, but... We have two different species in here, yes. is what I'm saying. But you can really see them standing right next to each other. That's your standard stone crab with the spots, and that guy's a purple colored crab. All right, there's the first crab. Look at that. They can just hold <laughs> the weight. They, they can hold the weight of anything. No, we'll, crazy. Just, we'll just leave that for now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you can see that that's a keeper claw on the left side. That is not a keeper claw. Oh. That's a regrow over here. It just goes to show you that they're doing fine and we love a renewable resource so our future generations can enjoy it too. Yeah, that's a male with this thing here. Correct. That's the stomach or the abdomen and the top is the carapace. Yes. And that's the story. Yes. And he really wants to keep my thing. So. Your thongs? Yeah, my thongs. Like, watch this. <laughs> let go. I think he's Hold on, let go. go. All right. See him? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. All, All right. right. But we're keeping that claw. All yes. Right. Anyways. Harder to grab the smaller ones. But uh, you can see how the black goes all the way up on their pressure claws. It's just really cool. Yeah. On the standard one, it only goes halfway up. Show me the, show me the color on the back on the purple. Yeah, yes. See, very purple. Very purple. That's a, that's a female, actually. You can see the abdomen is much wider here. This yep. flap, and they put the eggs in there. Correct. There you go. All right, let's let her go. Let her go. Let's fill it up. No crabs. All right, guys, here's a cool find. This is why we love to do the stone crapping because you never know what you're gonna find in the traps. But we got a juvenile mutton snapper and that's a juvenile lane snapper. Look how cool. Let's let him go at the same time. Oh, he just let himself go. <laughs> but it's cool to see them because it, you know that they come inshore when they're younger and then they'll go offshore eventually when they get old enough. So pretty cool. Let's right. let him go. He looks like he got hit. He'll be fine though. There he goes. Cool. <laughs> that's see, what, this, this is what, why it's so much fun with kids. This is why it's such a great, right. This is such a, a great family thing. You can teach them all about the water and fish, and you can talk about how the size limits, like what is the, the, uh, the lane is like 12 inches, and the, 
and the mutton is 18, 18 now. You and know. I'm a grown up kid, so I like it. Yeah, but no, we all are, right? We're, and uh, you take the kids out and it's, and it's, you know, you're inshore and it's calm weather. They don't have to go offshore. You break them in and it's really just fabulous all the way around. Whoa. Holy moly sizzle. Holy moly one. You gotta put that thing away. This is a oh boy. family friendly. Okie dokie, that's number two. Let's see what the rest have. But I wanna quickly mention, holidays are approaching really fast. Don't forget about my small business, my website, darsizzleoffshore.com forward slash shop. We got crab pendants, all kinds of amazing pendants. Calendars are available for free sale. We got fish hook and anchor bracelets, eight by tens, whole bunch of goodies for the sportsman in your life. Check it out, I really appreciate it. This is not my buoy. Are you kidding me? Where's my trap? Ugh, all right, so we put our trap here every like every year. That, I thought that was my trap. This buoy looks like our buoy. Yep. I was just painting a little different actually now that we notice it. And I had a feeling our friend James too said this. He was like, I really hope our buoys and stuff don't get destroyed by the hurricane storm. We're we'll gonna see. find out right now, but this is not my trap. No, we're gonna put this trap back and find our trap. Is there a trap there? I'm not sure. So, there's something right here though. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, this is a trap. All right. I think. All right, hold on. All right, yeah. I got something now. Let's All right. It. Let's pull it up. And it's a trap. Hey, it's my trap. Yeah, there it is. I recognize it because I got my uh, tags, tags on thing. there. Nice. All right, great. Heck yeah. You found it. What happened right. to the rope? I get very uh, over upset very quickly, but Brian doesn't. But maybe that's why <laughs> we have such a big age difference between us. I don't know. No, it's because I'm calm, cool, and collected, and you're a crazy chick. And you're also so much older than me and got through so much more life than me. So shush. It I'm is true. Listen, chick. guys. I'm yes, not a crazy so we chick. thought this trap was stolen. We have another trap stolen this year already. Which is kind of unusual, actually. We do very well oh here. Oh my Boyden. god! She's this this trap's about to break. I need to grab it. Need help? We need help. We want me to keep talking to these nice folks. Go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, guys. I, yeah, I'm a lot older, but I've had a lot of things that I've realized don't matter in life. So guys, don't worry about stuff. Okay? Tomorrow, it'll be fine. Nothing is ever as bad as you think it is. When something happens, you get 50% chance it's going to be a good turnout and 50% chance it's going to be bad. Very small chance it's going to be as bad as you think it is. Oh, there's some nice suckers in here. All right, find my scissors. Well, now, what happened to the rope? <laughs> More than likely, that was broken off in the storm. Frayed, frayed loose? I think so. Or somebody could have cut it. Maybe the person pulling that trap would cut it. There's nothing in this trap at all. I'm going to put it back in its spot. Whoever that is, I'm sorry, but I pulled it. And, uh, but I didn't open it. Everybody's using zip ties like me. So <laughs> anyhow, um, yeah, I just think it got broke off in the storm. But luckily today, I brought an extra buoy and rope for something like this. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's huge. This is why I love crabbing. Oh my Whoa, God. Holy what? Look at that. Look at on the corners. And look at the big claw down there, broken off. That's a stud, dude. That claw is the biggest claw I may have ever seen. Dude, that it is- looks like Popeye. That is incredible. He does look like Popeye. Oh my God, that's is that thing alive? We better incredible. Be. Yeah, uh -oh. he is, I think he is. Uh -oh. Yeah, I can see him breathing. Yeah, he's yeah, fine. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that monster, bro. Oh man, look at that claw. Gotta be one of the biggest claws I have ever seen stone crabbing out here in about five years of doing this. Look at that beast claw. I have big, I have- Brian has giant man hands. I love you, Sizzle. No, but I do have big. I do have big hands. He does. <laughs> that thing is monstrous. That's gonna be like half a pound claw right there. No joke. <laughs> Epic. That's the biggest claw you ever got. It's pretty. It's up there. It's up there. I mean, it's probably probably one of the top five we've ever harvested for sure. Beautiful, Sick. beautiful, beautiful. All right, so if you guys don't know, stone crabs are very aggressive with each other. They will fight to the death. And unfortunately, that does happen sometimes in the traps. So there's, there's nothing we can do about that. But that was a keeper claw, and uh, that was a nice crab. He's dead. Circle of life. All right, let me show you guys how to measure. Here's the gauge. And you put it on right here. Elbow. Yeah. There you go. And see, is he big enough? Yes. Yeah, see? Keeper. You put it on the elbow down there, and it hits the gauge until he's big enough. Yep. We got high expectations on this trap. Whoa, watch that. You're fine. <laughs> you're, you're fine. 
Uh, this trap had like 10 crabs in the last time, so let's see what happens week to week. Yep. I think we got blue crabs. Really? One. And looks like there's no crabs again. I mean, this time, where do those scissors go? Lots of stuff moving in here. But yeah, just week to week, it, it just poorly. shows you how much things change. Not a single blue crab this time. I mean, stone crab, but there's a blue crab in there. Where? Right there. I don't see him. I'll show you. I'll move this crab right here. There he is. So one of the keys to crabbing is these tongs, I gotta tell you guys, and mainly for the, mainly for the catching these catfish. No, that's not a blue crab. No. Some other kind of crab. Yep. All right. All right. Just goes to show you though, like we killed it in this trap previous pool two weeks ago and now nothing. Just like fishing. Yep. And nothing really messed with this stuff, look. My right, just been running. Yeah, and that trap that we just caught that you just like we got like, what do we get? Three claws out of that trap or yes, something? Like two, that monstrous three, one? Whatever. Two. Like we haven't got a crab in that trap in weeks, right? Since the beginning of this season. And last yeah. year it didn't do well last year either. I mean so Weird. It's just fishing. So when people say where to put the traps, you know, just it just really varies between. Put them where you think and then move them. But then, these you know. storms that we had, especially this last week, it just pushed a ton of water, pushed a ton of sand. It's just destroyed our beaches, so you know things are just not right yet around here. Yeah, these were in up before Hurricane Nicole, or down here in Southeast Florida, breezy Nicole we call her. <laughs> She's a windy girl. Wind of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, barely, it was nothing for us. So, uh, Florida strong, Southwest Florida, not. We fish in those conditions don't worry about all the Delray. time. We yeah, fish we, in those conditions all the time. Fishing. Yeah, tilapia from the backyard. Look how big that thing Base is. Base of tilapia from the backyard. Every day I go out and try to shoot as many as I can for the traps. With the bow and arrow. And try to get rid of them. She's a, she's a killing machine guy. I'm a savage. She's, <laughs> she's full hillbilly. I'm not a hillbilly. Cracker. She's a cracker. I'm a lady angler. You're a Florida cracker. Full Florida cracker. Lady angler. It's not an insult. Current's going which way? I don't know. I think it's going uh, that way. Yeah, careful. It's going that way. Careful. Do you want do you want me to put the chill motor down for you? That will be okay. You're gonna drift right into that. We checked a couple pots and nothing was really in them. We got one claw, or two claws, I think. Didn't want to bore you guys to death, but let's see what's happening under this bridge. Yes, we've quite a bit of ways. We've kind of spread all our traps out this year, miles apart. We moved one trap because it wasn't producing your last two trips. And it seems like it's pretty quiet in there. <laughs> Uh, there now. is a crab in there, but he died. Oh. Darn. Oh, he's alive. I let him go. Yeah, well, there's not much else to do with him, but let him go. Aw. Look at his claw. I don't know how he lost everything. Oh. Another dead one. All right. He's alive, though. <laughs> Just goes to show you that they can have two legs and they still make it. It's crazy. Yeah. And actually, you know, we have some videos on Facebook and et cetera that, you know, illustrate like, a, you know, the shorter video, the reels and stories and stuff that illustrate how to take off the claws, which we're going to do in a minute for you guys. But, you know, if you don't know about crabbing, think there's some sort of torture, like you're ripping off his arm. But, you know, this is completely within They're the like, regulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, I want to rip off your arm. And you're like, <laughs> you don't get it. Like, these, cra these crabs are crustaceans. They're not humans. And they're actually intentionally meant to lose their claws. In yeah. nature. Like if they get a fight, they break the claw off. And yeah. yeah, they grow they one back. They will actually you know? drop their claw if they need to. Like they will release it off their body if they think they're dying. Yeah, if they're in a big fight or whatever. Yep. But anyway, so one of the things I heard, Darcilla, was that when they have no claws, and how do they eat? I always, I'm the smart jerk. I always say, well, you know, fish don't have arms either, they eat fine, right? Yep. But it's more like catfish. You know, there's scavengers on the bottom and they get stuff. But I heard they dig through the, they dig in the mud and kind of hide, and they become like filter feeders. Yeah. And they just eat like little, little stuff and again scavenge and stuff. So they do live. They do live. And it really is just dependent like, you know, on how much food they can get quickly in order to like rejuvenate and go through those different stages where they actually shed and they create and they um, you know, grow their new claws and yeah. legs. You know, so all these know-it-alls who, you know, don't know anything about crabbing are saying, oh, you know, how's it gonna eat and all this stuff. But you know, you know, scientists do studies. And we, they regulate the crabs very heavily, so they get data every year. And it's legal to take both claws, because apparently, you know, the, these people think that that will sustain the fishery, you know, in a balance, so that we can eat claws. Commercial guys can sell claws. You can buy claws, 
and the fishery gets maintained, you know, so it's all a balance, so it's not, not just, they can't eat, or whatever, it's, you know, it's the whole thing, so. And, we, and don't yell at people who follow the regulations, you know. I know you guys don't, but someone's watching this video and they don't understand crabbing and, you know, we're just following the legal regulations. We're taking a claw, you know. It's legal to take two. Okay, we take one. It's legal to take two. What kinds of arguments, all right? And, whoa, did you guys see that video we caught that big AJ? Oh boy. What Justin did? Oh boy, I should have uh, taken this out previously. He's pretty frozen together. So Darcy cuts it up so it fits in the refrigerator. This is a 44 pounder, right? Yeah. <laughs> I cut them up into uh, four pieces, and those two pieces are very stuck. Ugh. So I gotta try to separate that. That's not good. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you gotta get some water on them. Yeah. I do kind of believe the saying, big bait equals big crabs, baby. Let's put it in. His head is bigger than my head. Actually, I shouldn't even have just said that. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan was gonna say something smart. Don't worry, I'll delete it. Ugh. That won't make the video, don't no worry. That was stupid. I'll never be in the video. That was so stupid. That'll never be in the video? Oh, great. No, never. Here we go. Woo! That was heavy with that bait in there. Hey, not too shabby. Better than I thought it was going to be, honestly. I don't see any keepers. No. But maybe that one might have one. No. no, no keepers. But it's a good sign. That, that's, I'm happy about that. That at was least. mad at me. Look at this. What do you got? That one's very mad. He wants to fight. He wants to fight. What are you showing me? Look, hermit crab. Oh, hermit crab. Where is he? There he is. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> what do you got? <gasps> what do you got? Goliath. What do you got? What do you got? I got a Goliath. Wow, Ryan what's up, guys? Got a Goliath. I just saw some mullet jumping over here. Figured it was Jack's. And I caught a baby <laughs> Goliath. That's cool. On a Yuzuri 3D minnow. That is a cool catch. A grouper on a lip diver, baby. Just sick. <laughs> that is for sure a Goliath. Oh, that's yeah. such a bad thing to see in shore. All right. It's taking over everywhere. Beautiful. Uh, fish, give, me, give me the um, pliers so I can get them out of the water really fast. When okay. I get them out of the water. Okay. You're you know, going to just flip them? Yeah, I'm going to flip them. If he falls off, I'll, if he falls off, that's great. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, now these fish guys, you're not really supposed to have them out of the water to pause and take pictures. So we're gonna try and get them back in the water as fast as possible. The big ones, you're not allowed to take out of the water because their, their organs get damaged because they get so big. With the little ones, you can take out and they're endangered, of course. You got the pliers? All right, hold on one second. Can you unstrap me right there? And I'm gonna grab. It's fine. All right, here we go. Oh. He's gonna break my lure off. I yeah, he might take your lure off. Oh, I got him. Good job. See him? Good job. All right, get this one off. And then hold on. Look how gorgeous that fish is. He's hooked pretty good here. All right. Look big old mouth. Let me open your bill. All right, got it. Good job. I, I don't want to hurt my teeth. Oh, he's got teeth. <laughs> oh, I know. All right, so I'm just going to push him. Beautiful, though. <laughs> it took off right away. Yeah. That was really cool. Also, I've never caught a fish like that on a lure like that. That was crazy. Nice cool. job. Yeah, nice job. Let me show you how I like to break a stone crab claw. I have a new method that I I'm fairly confident ensures their survival rate like 100% at least from breaking the claw off. And what I mean by this is I take the claw, the big colossal claw that I want, right lightly under my foot, just like so, hold on to the claw I'm not taking. And then we're gonna use this awesome little bait breaker knife from Smith. And right at the joint, there's a faint line that connects the joint to the actual claw. And we wanna leave that joint intact on his body. So just lightly, I'm gonna take my knife and go down on that really light indentation or line, I guess you could say, and the claw will release. See how it's just coming off? That is a clean break. The joint is fully intact on his body. It's gonna bleed a little bit, but it's gonna close out. And then by next year, he'll have another keeper claw. Now look at that thing. Sick. Size of my hand. Nice, put it in a real man's hand. All right, there you go. Real That's man big. hand, real man hand. Now, this crab is good to go. Perfect break. All right. Awesome job, Sizzle. Let him go. Whew, sunny out. Another beautiful day on the water. Epic day. <laughs> awesome. Can't complain. That crab was, I think, the biggest claw we've caught in a very long time. Yes, top, top five for sure. <laughs> Real quick, I want to say thank you to Road King for our brand new trailer. It's awesome. We've got to make sure it's uh, nice and wiped off all the time and hosed down. Yeah. 
And uh, thanks to Hair Club. Make sure you check out Hair Club and the link down below so you can win a fishing trip with our sizzle. It expires like really soon. Yes, right, and I got right a now. promo code for the, the products I use as well. Yeah, so links are in the bottom. And uh, for the holidays, please check out Darcy's website. website. Really appreciate all that. I know it's a lot. Thank you all. all right. <laughs> Until our next adventure, follow your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.